Hello guys, hello, 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 hello. I wanna make this video here. This is actually a late video response to a buddy of mine's. I believe his name is uh, Willie. Yeah, Willie. Uh, hope you see this video. Um, I was supposed to make it like a month ago. I'm just now getting to it, but you basically asked me a question about the, um, what was it? I think accents. You said something about accents. I think you said your wife is from, um, where was she from? She was from, um, dang, I can't remember. You said your wife is from, uh, oh man, I can't remember what you said. She, I know it was like, um, Fujian, 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 Fujian. Yeah, that's what it was. You said your wife is from Fujian. And you said you had some problems with, um, some other accents, I think. You said that like like other Chinese people, they had spoke they spoke differently, and you had asked your wife about it, and she wasn't sure or something like that. And you and you wanted to know what I do in situations like that, since my wife is from Taiwan. Um, well, I'm gonna tell you this: what you need to do, what you need to do is uh, meet friends, have friends from all. From all types of places in China, you, Taiwan, you need to you need to have friends from all those places because they all have different styles of speech. And I realized that um, after like two years of studying Chinese, because when I first started learning, when I first started learning, I didn't um, have I had the the re, the resources I had. They were all like based on mainland Chinese, and I only met people from mainland China, so. I was only able to hear the way they spoke and um, some of the like slangs they use and whatnot. But then when I met, I met someone from Taiwan for the first time. It was just, it was in Akron one time. And then like after that, I started realizing that they had different, like I could understand them to a certain extent, but like the pronunciation of certain words were different and it, and it was confusing. So after that, um, you know, I, I then I had moved to Columbus, and that's when I had met I had met my wife and stuff, and she, you know, she's from Taiwan. And whenever I heard her speak, like it was, I I could understand, but like sometimes it was weird. Like even when I heard it in context, like a lot of a lot of the words, they have like soft pronunciations. Like they don't say sure, 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 sure. They say su, su, su. And then you have ju, ju, ju. And they say zu, zu, zu. So it was kind of confusing for me. I wasn't used to it because, I, like I said, I didn't have any friends from Taiwan, you know, at the time. I started learning Chinese. So um, I had to get used to that. And then uh, I had met my wife's, my wife's uh, family. And I talked to her mom. I talked to her mom often, and when she speaks Chinese, like she, you know, she has like a Taiwanese accent. They don't have an F sound in Taiwanese. So when she speaks Mandarin, like she, she doesn't, she doesn't pronounce the the F. Like for example, every time she say like chu uh, fan, she say chu fan. She would say chu wan, chu wan. She she doesn't she doesn't say the chu fan. She just say chu wan because they don't have the F there. So. That was a bit confusing for me. So um, yeah, my only suggestion is to uh, get you know have friends from Taiwan, from mainland China, from all those places because they speak differently. And then like uh, I had this other time when uh, I, I would speak Chinese with my wife, and I would say certain word I was I would use certain words, and then she was like what she wouldn't understand. I like I know I'm saying this right certain words she didn't understand why because they use them in mainland china and she would just say oh we don't use that they use that in mainland china so that was a <laughs> that was a big blow to me i was like wow you know so um yeah that is very important it's very important to meet friends from you know have friends from mainland china and taiwan not just okay i just want to have friends from taiwan and try to stay out of those politics man those politics are terrible I stay away from those politics. You know, you got a lot of that stuff going on, and you got people, some people, like a lot of people, man, in China don't like Taiwanese people, and you know, it's vice versa. I, I don't, I don't, I stay away from that. 
you know, my wife is from Taiwan, but she's not into that stuff. We we never talk about it. So, I mean, I, I don't like that. That's more negative stuff. So um, just go ahead and meet those people, you know, get friends from Taiwan and, you know, from uh, mainland China. You should be okay. So, um, yeah. Other than that, I think that's it. I don't have anything else to um, elaborate on about that. But uh, yeah, just get friends from Taiwan and mainland China. You should be good to go. We'll talk with them very often. So, all right, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, uh, just send me a message over on Facebook and let me know you saw this video. All right, thanks for viewing.